Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It has been so long since I've recorded and I apologize, but I'm ready to get back in the swing of things. I already have a bunch of videos recorded, so I just need to figure out when I want to post them. But today's video is just going to be a vlog, catching up. I'm just going to be doing a bunch of things. Right now, I'm just doing their laundry, the guinea pigs laundry. So I have to go into that. I'm also going to be baking and just a bunch of random other stuff. But just going to be catching up with you guys. I need to show you the new guinea pigs. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already met them. And yeah, so let's get into it. So I just went ahead and grabbed my tripod. So now we can go and start baking. Obviously, I'm not going to show you how I make the treats. So I'm just going to throw in some clips. I recorded a video of my dog in some of the new harnesses, which I'll show you real quick. So these are the four new harnesses. So we have Up, Up, and Away, which is a reversible harness. So you can choose the hot air balloon side or the rainbow side. Then we also have Summer Lovin'. This one's an adjustable harness. So it's just the side and it also has the clip in the front. We have Shark Attack, which is also in the front. It has a front clip and it's an adjustable harness. And then we have Crikey Croc, which is the reversible harness. I only have a couple sizes left. So if you want to be sure to get it before they're gone, not sure if I'm going to be bringing them back. And then we are going to go and start baking.
So as you guys just saw, I just cleaned up their cage. I just showed you putting in the new stuff because I didn't want to make a whole video on cleaning their cage. So yeah, and then the new guinea pig. So Mango's actually right here eating hay. So that right there is Sunflower. She's, yeah, seven months old. Her birthday's in December. And both of them I got from the same rescue that I got Mango from. She was actually being sold on Craigslist as snake bait. So then the rescue rescued her, obviously. They reported like the people, I guess, or something. I don't know. She ended up being rescued and brought to that place and she ended up having a broken toe. So one of her toes are broken and one of her nails is like curled in and under. I'll have to show you guys that in a little bit. But that's her. And then Apple, who's back there, she's a crested guinea pig and she's almost, no, she's a little bit over two. And she was brought to the rescue because her and her sister were bought at the pet store, but her sister was sickly and her sister ended up passing away like a month or two later. So then she got really depressed and didn't really move and didn't really eat. So she really needed to be bonded. So she needed to be bonded into a new group to help get her to not be so depressed and lazy because she wouldn't even get up to eat because she was just so sad and I guess the lady said she was crying. So yeah, so I decided to take her too. So now I have three guinea pigs all like around a year-ish apart. So, well, there's a year between all of them is what I mean. And Apple's kind of like the boss right now. So she walks around, she'll make like the rumble strutting noise about being a boss and stuff. Um, introducing them went really well. I was going to record a video, but it was just so close after Peach had passed. I didn't really feel comfortable, like, moving on so fast. So, yes, yeah, so now I have three. I have a lot more, a lot more things have changed. Like you saw, I have a bucket to hold all their litter pellets in. I have a container to have their hay because I get the hay in bales now because it's cheaper. I'm not sure if you saw these beds yet. I, don't, I know you didn't see the bunny ones, but you definitely saw the pig one. And then I also have, I made a hay box for them too. So a lot of things have changed. I'm going to have to do an updated guinea pig supply haul after I get a few more things I wanted to get. And I also want to do like an updated like shop supply haul and stuff just to show you like behind the scenes kind of.
So I was just going through the footage of last week's vlog and there actually isn't enough footage to make a whole video. So I'm gonna be comp combining it with this week. So that's why you're gonna see like when I put the days in, like it says Tuesday right here. That's why it's gonna say like Tuesday again because uh, we're starting off from this Tuesday. So it's just gonna go right from last week into this week. I'm planning more products and I need to work on adding the new treats so let me grab them real quick so these are the new treats so they're paw print cookies let me see if it'll focus yep so they're just little paw prints and they come with 20 in a bag and they're 189 a bag so they're going live in an hour so i need to finish adding them to my website so then they'll be all set and ready to go So I just added the paw print treats and they're up now. See, so that's what they look like. Zoomed in. So yeah, so now these treats are up on the website. I have the description and everything. And I put them up like 45 minutes early because I'm going to be sending out an email so email subscribers can go and get them real quick if they want to. But yeah, and then I also have a live stream to do later today at 2.30. But before that, I want to double check all my stock and redo a stock count. So we're going to do that. And while I do that, I figured I'd show you all the items too uh, that I have in stock. So let's go and do that. All right, so now I'm going to go through all my products and i'm gonna be going through the stock making sure it's all up to date i am running low on a bunch of things so i'm gonna need to restock on a bunch of things i know for a fact but let's go through them so the first one is the banana bits all right so i only have two banana bits left this is what they look like and then for all of my hamster treats, I don't track them because I can make them really quickly. So those are the blackberry ones. The So the hamster treats I have in blackberry, blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, mixed berry, which is a mix of all four of the berries, um, original peanut butter, brownie bites, banana carob swirl, and those are the ones that I not banana carrot, um, peanut butter carob swirl. And those are all of the hamster ones that I don't track. And then these new ones, the paw print cookies, I do track, but I already know that, obviously, I already know that that one's all set. So, um, and then the hamster treats, they come in bags of 30 and six, 30 and 100 now. So for 30, it's a small bag that comes with 30 now. I mean, not 30. 60, 60 and 100, because I feel like 30 would was only like skimming the bottom. I need to find new packaging for the hamster treats. I mean, cause this is fine for like forage and dog treats and stuff, but for hamster treats, it looks like you don't really come with much, but this is 60 treats and it doesn't look like it. And this is 100. This doesn't look like 100 treats to me, but I just want people to make sure they know they're getting with their money. So the small, it comes with 60 treats and it's $3.69. And the large comes with 100 treats and it's $5.49. So that's that. And all treats come in those sizes. And then for the um, cookie, for like the hamster treats that the paw print ones, they only come in bags of 20 and they're 189. And I forgot to say how much comes in the banana bits, but it's 50 grams of banana bits. 
and then let's see so the nibblers which i don't have any to show you because these i make to order just so they're fresh and i don't have any right now they're 249 a bag and it comes with 10 which i'm thinking of maybe changing that and for the nibblers those are safe for rabbits and guinea pigs and they're safe for hamsters too but they're more geared toward rabbits and guinea pigs because they're bigger they're the same size as the small dog treats so the nibblers come with the flavors blackberry blueberry strawberry raspberry and mixed berry so that's all i have for the nibblers so far so next up are my loofahs so i coat loofahs and forage so first up is the blue corn flower one i'm doing all my products alphabetically in case you didn't notice but that's that's the blue cornflower one. And then we have, is that it? Yeah, I only have one. How many does it say? Oh yeah, it says I only have one in stock. But I need to get more loofahs so I can make more of these. I have the forage, I just don't have the loofahs. So I have one of those. All right, next up, botanical boxes. So all my boxes I keep here. What's this one? I think this is my loofah bundle, yeah. So I need to put a label on that one. But botanical boxes, I only have one pre-made because botanical boxes, all of like my boxes sell out fast because it's like a bundle of a bunch of different things. But the botanical box here, I'll open it so you can see. A lot of the forage went to the bottom, but it comes with rose petals, um, calendula petals, chamomile flowers, and lavender. And you get, I think, you get 50 grams of that, 25 grams of that forage, and you get 50 grams of botanical hay. So that's what that box is, and that's $6.99. So that's that box. All right, next, Brownie Bites Dog Treats. The dog treats I make to order, and dog treats are available in original peanut butter brownie bites and um, peanut butter carob swirl so they only come in four flavors and they're $2.49 a bag two and they come with 10 in a bag um also all the ones that i say are like brownie bites I'm, i don't make them with chocolate they're made with carob so they're completely safe all right so next um we have the chamomile Floral loofah. It says I have one of them. I have two. Did it say I have two? Yep. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Just a loofah coated in chamomile flowers. These are like probably my best sellers too, which is why I only have a couple of each one left because I guess hamsters love them. And it's good for foraging and stuff. I haven't tried it with my guinea pigs yet. I should probably do that. But I haven't done it yet because I didn't want to... I wanted to make sure I had enough stock because I'm almost out of loofahs. So once I restock them, I'll definitely try it with my guinea pigs. Alright, next up is dried carrot. So the dried carrot, I don't have them pre-made because I also use that in like forage mixes and stuff. But I should probably make a bag or two. But it comes with... 50 grams of dried bits. So, this should be dried carrot bits. Wow, I just noticed that now. And it's $1.99 a bag for a bag of, um, $1.99 a bag for a bag of V grams. And then dried carrot treat loofah, which I'm out of stock on those. And they're also $1.99. So, it's just a loofah coated in dried carrot, but I'm out of those. Power Floral Loofah, those sold out really fast. I need to restock those, but again, I need to wait for my supplier that my supplier that I get the loofahs from, they haven't had any loofahs in, so I'm going to wait for them to get back in stock, and if they don't get back in stock soon, then I'm going to have to find a different place to get my loofahs from. And then the Flower Power Forage, I'm out of that. I'm out of that. I didn't even know that. I'll have to order some more of that. And then what else we got? Oh, Furry Friends Bundle Box. So I have I have two of those pre-made. But 
the bundle box. Again, I only have two of them pre-made because they sell out fast. So this is what they look like. So it is $8 and it comes with, it's $8 because it comes with a lot of stuff. So it comes with 35 grams of the Simple Blue Forage Mix, which is just raspberry leaves and blue corn flour mixed. And then it comes with five of each of my treats. So it comes with five original peanut butter, raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, strawberry, and peanut butter carob swirl five of each and then it also comes with 10 grams of banana bits and 10 grams of pumpkin seeds so this this um, bundle has a little bit of everything so that's what that box is my mystery sets which come in sizes small and large a small mystery set comes with four items a large mystery set comes with six items and for hamsters, the three set is $12.99 and the large is $14.99. And for guinea pigs, the small is $16.99 and the large is $18.99. And rabbits, it's the same price as the guinea pigs. So it's just you'll get um you'll get a surprise of treats, toys, um, food dishes, stuff like that. You'll just get a surprise of them. And so you don't know what you're getting. It'll just be random. But obviously I won't duplicate. And I try my best to keep, like, prevent myself if you order it and then order it. If you order it, like, let's say you ordered it in January and you ordered another one in February. Then in February I would try to do different stuff. But I need to start writing down when customers are on a mystery set so then I can keep that separate. But that's a new thing I just started doing is writing down what I give each customer in their mystery set. So then I don't copy that, copy it, because I don't wanna give someone a blue food dish and then give them another blue food dish because that would be useless. All right, then we have the hibiscus floor loofah, which I have one, two of. I have two of these, that's what they look like. It looks like black, but I promise you it's hibiscus. And this is $1.99 and it's just a, a coated treat, coated loofah. The July Fairy Hamster subscription box. I only have one left. So this box comes with, so it's fairy themed and it comes with a mushroom house, which this box recommend for dwarf hamsters. So it comes with a corrugated cardboard mushroom house. It also comes with a cat grass and a bag kit. This is a new product. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on my website yet, like as a separate product, but same with like the mushroom house. I don't think I'm gonna put that as a separate product, but the cat grass, I don't know yet. I printed out my own instructions for it and it's just a bag and seeds and you get to grow your own cat grass, which is safe for hamsters. Um, it also comes with a hibiscus loofah, which again looks like this. It also comes with a purple and white chew, which isn't available on my website right now, but I need to make more chews and stuff to put on my website. So it also comes with a purple and white chew. It also comes with 50 grams of pea flakes. This is 100 grams, so like half of this. This is 100 grams, so it comes with half. I also need to put pea flakes up as a separate item on my website because they're not, they're just set as the same item. So let me keep that out. So about half of this and a small bag of mixed berry hamster treats, which I don't think I have pre-packaged. No, I don't. So a small bag comes with 60. So in that whole thing, this is what you get. So you get all this stuff plus a 60 count bag, which is this much. A 60 count bag of hamster treats, but it would be mixed berry instead of original. So all this, and that is $18.99. So this box is only gonna be available for July. 
and then I'm thinking of switching it or I might keep it up for August too, but I'm not quite sure yet because I like to switch it up every month. So we'll see. Actually, that can stay up there, but I'm not quite sure if that's what I want to do yet. Next thing is kale cake. So I don't have these in stock either. I'll show you what they look like. So that's what they look like. So basically they're a cake-like texture and they're safe for our rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters. I do have a little feeding guide card that comes with it. So whatever animal you have, you can just feed based on that. So each a pack comes with four cakes and they're only $1.99 for a bag of of four cakes and the ingredients are only kale tomatoes and oats so that's the ingredients pretty simple um but it's just i wanted to add some things i know for like birthdays because i wanted to start on the birthday collection but this is the closest thing i can do to cakes that's still healthy for your pet and safe so that's so i figured i might as well add some cakes but i don't have those in stock those are made to order because they're only good for like a month or two they're two months right they're good for two months if they're kept packaged and refrigerated so if you open it and you just as long as you put it type you can tie it back off in the bag that they come in and that's fine and you refrigerate them then um they're safe for two months but if you don't if you don't tie them up, they're only going to be safe for a few days. But all of that is on the little instruction card that comes with them. Next up is the Mallow Floral Lupa. So this is only safe for hamsters and rabbits, I think. I know it's not safe for guinea pigs. Did I write what it's safe for? Rabbits and hamsters, yeah. And other animals, just not for guinea pigs. But this is the Mallow Floral Loofah. So it's just mallow flowers covered in a loofah. And I only have one of those in stock. Yep. Going. P oh, the paw print hamster treats I already showed you. Pea flake loofah. That's what this one looks like. So just a loofah coated in pea flakes. So this is good if you know your pet likes pea flakes. And it's just a loofah coated in them. And it provides enrichment because they have to actually, like, get it off the loofah. And then, let's see what else. So, our danglies. I don't have another pink hibiscus one in stock because I just sold the last one. That's what it looks like. So, it just comes with... So, all the danglies, they come with a painted bead, a wicker ball, and a coated loofah. So you get a little bit of everything and everything to do with their chew toys. So it provides enrichment with all three and it's $2.19 for it. And so the pink dangly comes with a pink wooden chew at the top, obviously a wicker ball in the middle and it's surrounded in a hibiscus loofah at the bottom. Then we have pumpkin seeds. These I'm not going to be restocking until October. So once they're gone, they're gone. Or I might restock them in September. But you get this bag. $4.99. Is that right? I don't think that's right. I think it's supposed to be $4.29. But you get a bag of pumpkin seeds. And I only have two left. So it comes with 100 grams, so that's a lot of pumpkin seeds that'll last you a while. It might not look as big on camera, but I promise you it's a lot. So I only have two of those left, so once those are gone, they'll be gone for a little bit. Then I have the rainbow chews, which I'm also sold out of, but I can easily make more, so I just need to make some more because I have all the supplies, but those are the rainbow chew toys. These are really popular, which is hence why I'm out of stock on, on them. But um, yeah, so they are really popular. They're just wooden chews with pet safe paint. 
Next is the Rainbow Loofah Bundle, which I think is right here. Yep, it's the one that's not labeled. So it's just a bundle of five of our coated loofahs. So you, you get 25 grams of botanical hay in the bottom. And then you also get a mallow loofah, a blue cornflower loofah, pea flake loofah, chamomile loofah, and hibiscus loofah. So you get five of them in a pack or in a box. And it is $8.99, which is cheaper than buying all five of them separately. So if you wanted to try all those loofahs and see which ones your hamsters like, I really recommend getting the loofah bundle. And then if your hamster likes all of them, you can just keep on getting the bundle because it's cheaper. But if they don't, and let's say they only like the hibiscus one, the pea flake one, the blue cornflower one, then you know and you only have to buy those ones if you want to buy them, obviously. Then we have the red, white, and blue chew. These ones are going to be coming back in stock. I only have two left. They were just for July. So once they're gone, they'll be gone. I also have a matching dangly. So then there's a matching set. The red, white, and blue loofah and the dangly. So the red, white, and blue dangly comes with a red wooden chew, a wicker ball, and a blue cornflower coated loofah at the bottom. So that's that. All right, next up is going to be all my food dishes. So I'll do those last because I have to go and actually grab them. So lastly, we have my two forage mixes. So we have the Yummy in My Tummy blend, which looks like this. So you get a pretty thick bag. It's only $2.99 for a bag this size. And this is the Yummy in My Tummy one. So it has raspberry leaves, hibiscus flowers, dandelion root, mallow flowers, blue cornflower. Did I hit the right one? Nope. That was very fairy. Yummy in my tummy. There we go. So the yummy in my tummy blend comes with raspberry leaves, chamomile flowers, dandelion root, pea flakes, blue cornflower, and dried carrot. So it's a good little blend. Only $2.99. So with all the ingredients, it provides digestive support. And it also has antibacterial and antidiarrheal properties. So it's a healthy, tasty snack while also being healthy and supportive for your um, pet's digestive system. It's safe for a bunch of different animals, hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits. Um, my guinea pigs love that blend. That's how I know that they're my testers to see if my forage blends work good. So next one is the Very Fairy blend. So this one, I'm gonna have to add an option to exclude mallow flowers because guinea pigs can't have mallow flowers. So it comes with raspberry leaves, hibiscus flowers, dandelion root, mallow flowers, and blue corn flower. So I need to get rid of the mallow flowers. But um, it this one also has digestive support and antibacterial properties as well. So it helps protect your pet while also providing nutrients and being healthy, as both of my forage mixes do. So for my guinea pigs, what I actually do is I'll take... The Yummy in My Tummy blend and the Very Fairy blend, obviously without the mallow flowers. And I'll mix them together and put them in a jar. And I give them a tablespoon of it in the morning and then a tablespoon at night because I have three guinea pigs. Um, they'll also have a feeding guide attached to them. Alright, so lastly are all my food dishes, so I'll go grab those. Alright, so for my food dishes, they are by far my most popular product and the pop product I've had to restock and have been sold the most, obviously. So a lot of pictures of animals that you see that um, my company is tagged in or are on my story, they're usually with the food dish. So this first one, I only have one left. It's not on my website. I need to put it on the website, but it's just the radish bowl. I'm not going to be... I don't think I'm going to be restocking this, but um, I'll leave that there. I only have one left. And then next up are the blue matte food dishes. So these ones are new. Well, newer compared to the other ones. So 
yeah, they're all bigger, so your hamsters or, well, let's be honest, these are most likely going to be for hamsters. Your hamsters or other small animals can sit in them, but this so many, I have four of them right now left. This is what they look like. They're ceramic and um, dishwasher safe and all that, but I only have this type of food dish in blue. I'll hopefully get, be getting other colors in the future. Maybe soon, I'm not sure. Next up are the heart dishes. So this is the white one. This is my last one. So if you want a white heart food dish, that's the last one. Then we have the blue ones in the same style. So again, these are ceramic. And this is my, the blue one. I only have three left in those. All right, so next up are ones that I need to add to my, well, these ones have been on my website. So we have the heart ones, and I actually only have one of each color left. So pink, green, blue, and cream. So that's, these are, and these ones aren't ceramic. They're a plastic, but they're like a thick plastic, so you can't bend it or anything. So these ones are thicker than the ones I had before that were heart ones. The heart ones I had before were like kind of flimsy-ish, um, but these ones are a lot better quality. So again, pink, green, blue, and cream. So that's those. And then I also need to add these ones to my website. Um, I am missing a couple colors in some of them because but that's only because of the mystery sets i've included them in mystery sets so we have this pink like ruffly one and we have it in blue and in cream and the green one i had put in a mystery set for someone and then these like ripple these other ripple ones i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna name them yet comment down below if you have any name ideas but i have this cream one, green, and blue. I really like this pattern a lot, but I need to add, these two aren't up on my website yet, so I need to add all these need to be added to my website. But yeah, so for that one, the pink one, I included in a mystery set. And last but not least, by far my most popular food dishes, what my company was known for for the longest time are the marble food dishes which are these. My company was known for these dishes. Everyone was saying like, oh, I came here, so-and-so sent me. I wanted this food dish so bad. Or people would buy like one of every color of the food dish or like a couple of the same color. One person bought four pink marble food dishes, but this is what my company was most known for. So I have it in pink. This is my last pink one. So if you want a pink one, I'm sure to go ahead and grab it. I have a green one. This is the green one. This is my last green one. So if you want that, go and grab that. And then I also have the blue one. I had just I just restocked these, so I have four left. But this is the blue one. The blue and pink have sold out the fastest. And there's also a black one, and I'm sold out of that right now. But yeah, so I have four of the blue, and what's cool is each dish is unique, so they're all different. But yeah, so I have blue, green, and pink. Four blue left, one green left, one pink left. So all the food dishes that I only have one left in, it's... The green marble, the pink marble, and the white ceramic one. So yes, yeah, so that's all. Those are all of my products. So that's it for all the ones that are like my brand. Now for all the one. Well, this wasn't my brand, but I included it with the food dishes. So now I'm gonna move on to other stuff I have that isn't my brand, but I still sell on my website. So these next ones are by Rosewood. So I have dandelion and nettle root, but that's out of stock right now. And I also have the Woody's Caterpillar and the Pick and Fly. That's also out of stock too. So 
Here are the trio of fun balls. These are really popular too. I've had to restock these twice already. But it just comes with three different balls. My guinea pigs love them. My rabbits love them. I love this product. Um, it's $5.99 for them on my website. I only have two left right now. Oh, they're $4.99. I dropped it. So it's $4.99 for all three. I only have two left in stock. So if you want them, go and grab them. See, I'm low in stock on almost everything. Next up is the Nature Salad, which is like this. This was another really popular product on my website. Nature Salad. So it is $5.79 for this. The Summer Harvest is another mix. That's a newer mix. Not a lot of people know that I sell that. So I only have two left in this as well. And this one is $6.29 um, because it comes with a little bit more in it. All right, and then we have the Fruity and Herby Cushions. So these are $3.99 for a pack. By far the best treat. My guinea pigs love them. My rabbits love them. My rabbits. My rabbit. Guinea pigs love them and my rabbit loves them. They almost always have a pack of these um, in their treat bin, but they love these treats. So it's the herby cushions and the fruity cushions. I only have one of the herby ones and I'm out of the fruity cushions, which I did not know, but now I do. And then also for Rosewood, I have the meadow hay bales, which I have two bags left and I'm not going to be restocking these. They just didn't really sell well. People don't really seem to want them. Same with the Parrot Wood Floral. I only have one left for $6.99. I won't be restocking those either. And the Meadow Hay Bales were actually $7.99. Um, then Dandelion Nell Root, like I said, it's $3.99. Um, I just forgot to restock those. The Chinchilla and Dago Delight. I have one bag left and it's $3.25 for it. And like I said, out of stock. Here, I'll show you all the things that are out of stock in Rosewood. So this is the pick and fly. That's what it looks like. So it comes with a bunch of different sprays and stuff. Then we also have the Woody's Caterpillar. That was also really popular. I'm out of stock on that. And then the dandelion and nettle root. And the fruity cushions. Those are all those. All right, let's see. All right, so we're almost done. So the last of the small animal things is the Burgess XL Country Garden Herbs. And these, this is, I only, like I said, I only have one left. Pretty big bag. I'm not gonna be restocking this. It's $5.99 for this ginormous bag of mix. And yeah, like I said, it's $5.99. Not going to be restocking that. And lastly are the harnesses. So I'll go and grab those. But you've already saw them in the beginning of this video. But I'll just show you again real quick. So I have the Shark Attack. Summer Lovin'. And up, up, and away. Up, up, and away is a reversible harness. So if you want to put it on the rainbow side, you can. Or you can put it on this side. And then I also have Crikey Croc, which I think I don't have any of them left. Out of the Crikey Croc harness, but this is what it looked, whoa, this is what it looked like. So it, that was the original side and it can also be flipped to that side. Uh, stock on that one but I still have quite a few left of well, not quite a few I have a couple left like one in each size left not even um but yeah these are these ones and the shark attack and summer lovin are adjustable harnesses not reversible ones and they have this clip on the front too but yes yeah, so those are all my products just did all the stock so that's all set you know what i think this video is going to be long so i'm going to end it here let me know if you liked 
a vlog in this style. It's a new style. I'm just trying something out, showing clips of things I do throughout the day. I figured it would be easier for me to just do clips of stuff that I do throughout the day rather than try to sit down and schedule a whole entire half hour video. And this way you guys can get a video and I can get it out in time. But yeah, so let me know what you think. I don't think I'm going to do a schedule. I think I'm just going to post it when they're ready. But it's going to be more so at least one video a week. Um, no set time. But yeah, so that's going to be the end of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to go and grab those products that were almost sold out while you can. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys later.